What's happening out there, ladies and gents? I'm gonna show you a little project I've been, not even really a project, I guess a little project, but we got the generator. If you watch that video, we broke that bugger in. Um, it's been running fantabulous, which it should be. It's brand new. It's the Gen Max 5500 electric start with a backup pull cord start. It's been awesome. So I'm kind of a neat freak and I like to protect my things. Everything has covers. That's just how I roll. I don't like things being getting cooked out in the sun. So I built the box for this bad boy. What's in the box? I built the box. Threw a couple handles on her so she's easy to pick up because it's three quarter inch plywood and she darn heavy. Especially when you're picking it up, lifting it up over. So I added just a little latch here, but I can open up, access the top of the generator, fill it full of gas, all that kind of good stuff. Through a little lock so I can put my padlock on it. So now what I'm gonna do, I bought some grates. They're actually, uh, well, let's see, they're right over here. Got two of these bad boys. I wish they were a little bit bigger. It said six inch, but I was thinking the hole was six inches. It's actually the square is six inches, but whatever, it works. As long as my fat hand can fit in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this feller and I'm gonna mount it, cut a hole and mount it right there so I can take this off to access anything just inside. If this isn't big enough, I'll get a bigger one, but for now it's gonna work. And also I'm gonna take the same one, I got two of them. The exhaust is on this side of the generator. So I'm gonna mount this one right where the exhaust pipe is. That way it can breathe. And then underneath, we'll go back to the camper, but underneath is the grate of the toy hauler. So it'll be able to draw air from down below and then it can exhaust air out the side. Now this is all great right here, see that? So it can, it'll can it be able to draw air up and through for fresh air. Um, I just wanted to keep it simple. But yeah, that box is going to fit over there perfect. Hopefully that one hole here is big enough I can reach in, grab the dials, push buttons, click, 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 you know, stuff like that. And then on the other side here, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, probably not. I don't feel like lifting this thing, it's 127 pounds. That's where the exhaust is gonna go, so. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the drill, grab my hole saw bit, and let's get some holes mounted up in this mo jammy. All right, guys. Got my hole saw kit here. I don't know if you can see it, don't want them all to fall out. Got that on Amazon too. Amazon's great, or you can obviously go to like Home Depot or uh, Harbor Freight's always good. All right, so anyway, enough chitter chatter. So we gotta find a hole saw bit that works. All right, yeah, I was definitely hoping these were a little bigger. I mean, I might end up going bigger here eventually. Yeah, that's weird. So we can see here, this hole saw bit here would definitely work. Like so, but it would have been nice if I could have had one that would come over this lip right here and make it. I got fat hands, you know, if I got to reach in there. But the next one up is what is that? A four inch is the smaller one, yeah. So it goes from four to five. And then if we did a five, obviously <laughs> that won't work. You can see the hole saw bit behind it, so we're gonna have to go to the four inch. That's kind of a bummer. I bought these for the five inch for the love, for the all that's love and holy. All right, yeah. So you want this to go in there? It's gonna keep the bit from spinning on your pilot bit, right? You don't want that. So you slide that mamma jamma through like there. Just 
tighten her up. I always just hand tighten them. I mean, I'm only drilling two little holes. You know, you don't need to go banana sandwich. So, this drill bit, or this drill, got this from Amazon, Forte, and to be honest, it is not my Forte. It always likes to pop out of slow and fast gear, one and two, drives me bonkers. And when you're in the middle of doing stuff, it gets very frustrating. So let's drill that hole. I already got them marked. There she is. See what I'm saying? So when I'm doing hole saws over the years of many cutting holes of plumbing, don't just hold it in one spot and just go balls to the wall. Kind of just keep moving it at a little, you know, little circular position. Um, it's going to make it easier to get the plug out. Otherwise it gets stuck in the bit and it can be a pain in the nugget. Yeah, yeah, I tell you how much I hate this drill. See them Suzanne seed I gotta deal with. There we go. See, look at that. Plug fell right out. So just give her a little circular motion. Yeah, circular, circular. It's like a circle. I just hope my bit strong or my battery's charged up enough to go ahead and check it. So yes, these are not on center. I marked them to where I kind of wanted them. Like this one's by the 30 amp plug. And the other one is right where the exhaust port is that we just drilled out, so they're not centered. I just kind of putting them where I would rather have them. So I'm not re going to record this one because you know what a hole saw looks like. It's always something, guys. It's always something. So I didn't even think of this when I bought these, right? That they were that deep. Well, I built this box fairly tight because I just had what I had at the time. So as I put those in, they're going to impede sliding over the generator. So, grab the hacksaw, cut those buggers off, and now I can slide that right in there like so. i got to clean up all the sawdust. There. We'll brush that stuff off, make her look all pretty again. There we go. And I was going to paint inside here, but... Oops, wrong one. I don't know if it's really necessary. There, yeah, I mean, you can't see it anyway. So yeah, I'm going to screw that in there. Look at how flush. How nice she fits. So we got that. We already have this one cut off, just like the other one. I just did a bolt right away. I don't have to worry about it hitting the generator. And of course, these holes are just literally like an eighth inch too small because of this little lip right here. Right here. Doesn't fit. So I gotta kind of bore it out a little bit, my hole saw. So we're gonna knock out that one. We're gonna get these in. This one I'm not gonna screw in. I just wanna try to keep it tight. Maybe I'll screw it in, but I want it accessible. So I can just pull it off, reach in there, do all the little things and you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know if my generator makes that noise, but wouldn't it be cool if it did? We got the finished product, guys. Look at that. Drain blends in nice and good. I just 
put a couple screws in this one because like I said I want to access this one this is where all the plugins and all that stuff are we are on the corner look at that can't even see that bugger that's it where it's gonna exhaust the exhaust so yeah that's cool all right the tailgate works great as a bench and you don't have anything and all my tools are in freaking storage so I gotta do so much of this stuff by hand it's annoying let's get this bugger put on let's go get the box guys okay the main reason I put this here and I'm putting a box over it is because let's do this quick if you know anything about campers right here is my power cord all right it's actually running back we're on obviously land power because we're parked here at a spot here's my generator I want to be able to pull my cord all the way plug it in right ha yeah, in my 30 amp without having to move this beast because it is hundred and twenty seven pounds and she heavy she heavy so let's go get that box let's see how she fits oh. damn is that thing heavy oh like a glove like a glove nice all right there she goes holy crap that thing's got to weigh freaking 80 pounds we got the lid we can access all our goodies got the wet latch that i just painted and our, our uh hole worked perfect because here's the ramp for the toys and it's right out of the way that's part of the reason too why i measured where it was so i wanted to be able to pull it off and get my hand in there so look at that she blends right in got to keep our stuff safe and secure because uh i don't know about you guys but i think some hard times are coming have a good one guys god bless america see you on the flip side